Fire in the hole. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Iron King Inc. YouTube channel. Today, it's going to be an awesome video. Behind me, a Caterpillar D10R. We're going to go ahead. The trucker's going to get hooked up. We're going to bring it into the yard, get this thing unloaded, and I'll show you some more about it. All right, so as I mentioned before, behind me is a Caterpillar D10R. This is the AKT series, which we will get into that in a little bit, why that is so special. But for now, I'm gonna help him get unchained, get this thing fired up, which might be a little bit of an issue because it's been sitting for, I wanna say five to eight years. But we'll go ahead and get it fired up, get it off the low bed, and hopefully move it into the shop and we'll talk some more about this machine. Let's get the uh, forklift and we'll get a set of nice jumper cables up to that. We might have to go directly up the starter too. Let's see. Okay. I'll go ahead, I'll, I'll hop up there and see what we got. But go ahead and grab, go grab the big forklift and grab a set of jumper cables. Okay, watch your head. <laughs> Probably gonna have to jump this thing. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Those are batteries. There we go. Lock it in place. Uh, we got mufflers in here. Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess we should check the oil before we fire it up just to make sure we're okay. Let's see, where's the dipstick here? Right now. Perfect. So game plan, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get the forklift on the other side of this machine. We're gonna get a set of jumper cables. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, hopefully we don't have to put batteries in it. That would kind of suck. But we're gonna get a set of jumper cables, hook them up here, see if we can get this thing fired up. We already checked the oil. Uh, we know we're good there. We should probably check the water too. There's actually a sight glass below here. Uh, she's a little low. She is a little low. So let's check here, should be a sight glass. I can't see it, it's way up in there. Well, we'll just assume she's got coolant for like 10 seconds and then we'll, I'll tell you what. Hey Phil, do we have any coolant? Doesn't matter, we're gonna drain it out fast enough. We're gonna do the right thing and we're gonna get some coolant in this thing before we fire it up. I definitely did not get my tracks that I sent them back. No? No, these are a different set. Yeah, they did have it set up on blocks and they said they did swap the tracks. Huh. And apparently I also was not supposed to bring the ROPs. You weren't? That's what I was told after I had already got them loaded. Why wouldn't you bring the ROPs? I don't know. Like they wanted it? No, my boss told me not to bring them. And I was like, well, it's the only other thing there with the machines. So. Yeah, weird, okay. All right, let's go fill it up. Step on top, there's a little radiator cap. D10R, baby. Freaking badass. new game plan phil had a great idea since we're gonna be tearing this thing down for parts spoiler alert we're just gonna fill it with water it's middle of summer ain't gonna hurt it 
fill with water be done now is the hose long enough probably not you probably unwind it enough there you go i'll start unwinding Okay, that's it. Oh no! Oh, so close. <laughs> so close. Is it gonna? Oh, she'll make it. Okay, it's going on. Watch your face. <laughs> you almost just sprayed the shit out of him. <laughs> They gonna make it? Yeah. Sweet. Come out. Gotta water your D10 once a day. Water your D10 and watch it grow. Yeah. All right, got the dozer topped off. Next thing, jumper cables, batteries. We already checked the oil, we know that's good. Uh, I guess we could pull the powertrain. Well, they already moved it on here, it's probably fine. All right, forklift, jumper cables, fire this thing up, get it off the trailer. All right, while we're waiting for batteries, I'm gonna go ahead, get all this stuff moved out of the cab at least and get a better lay of the land, what we gotta deal with. Okay. There's one. All right, one more. closer look all right this is the inside cab of a d10r akt so this is the last year that they made the d10r which i believe it should be an 04 or an 05 let's see akt 371 3412 e does not give the year but we can actually look that up on the caterpillar service information system to get a better look i want to say it's a 2004 2005 model all right, so here's what we got. Uh, one good battery, one bad battery. So we're not gonna use that one, but we're gonna try one good one and jumper cables, and hopefully that is enough to get this thing started. So Phil's gonna go ahead and get the forklift on the other side of the machine where the batteries are at. And go ahead and see if we can fire it up. right there on that top fender just just uh no, hey, take the take that and just lift it all the way up there safety third good all right what do you think nine sixteenths and a half inch yeah probably nine sixteenths all right yeah she's all exploded exploded they oh, that's good sweet so that's good someone's already decided to you know 
know, it's leaving loose in there. We've got two, let's see, positive negative. Hopefully that's Half inch, half inch, we'll have these out of here. Good enough not to bolt these things down so it'll be easier to change. Oh, nice. Yeah. How heavy is this rock? Uh, not heavy at all. That uh, little yellow forklift or even the big, go, go get the big one, suck the forks all the way in, and uh, that should lift it off no problem. Oh, man. Might need a little bit of a pry bar. I got it. I got one. Alright, now I'm willing to bet this is not enough to start it, but we'll try. Alright, got the battery, one battery in. We're gonna try it just to see what happens. Got life! Cool. Alright, I guess we'll give it a shot. I guarantee we're just gonna get a bunch of clicking, but let's see here. Yep. Nope. Hmm. Lots of smoke. Ah, smoke, smoke, smoke. Okay. Tighten these up some more, I guess. saying just go buy a set of batteries they're two hundred dollars a piece for a machine that we just need to get it off the low bed and get it into the shop so why should i waste four hundred dollars just to get it started once and sometimes it's worth it but i'd rather take a few hours to mess with it to get it started than uh spend 400 bucks so we'll keep trying see if we can get it started all right new game plan toyota, toyota. probably won't work Okay, kind of okay battery, junk battery, and a Toyota. Let's see if it'll do anything. Probably not, but we'll give it a shot. Ow. No, something's mad. I'm gonna go hit the RPM. Okay, yeah, crank her up a little bit. Okay, battery's hooked up. We got lights here. Let's see if we can get this baby to light off for, I don't even know how long, five, eight, I guess they got it on the low bed, so they had it running.
That's good. All right, here we go. Fire in the hole. DRT boys are gonna steal my glory. I guess they're gonna go ahead and drive it off and swing it over there by the shop, so. Heck yeah. All right guys, well, we got the dozer off the trailer, fired up, actually ran pretty well. Let's go ahead, take a closer look at this tractor. So this is a 2005 D10R AKT spec tractor. It's the last series of the D10R before they came out with the D10T. And some say this is actually the best D10 that they ever made. And I guess you could probably get anybody to say anything about a D10 that it's the best one or... Anyway, that's just what I've figured out over the years is a lot of people say that they prefer that dozer over the D10T, over the D10N. This one's pretty special. They didn't make a whole lot of these ones. But we're going to go ahead, take this thing, part it all the way out, rebuild the components, 
and then resell them to our customers. We'll go ahead and we'll check out the engine on this thing. So it's a 3412 twin turbo. So you got, you got your two airlets, you got your two intake tubes, and then your turbos are on each side of the engine. Seems in pretty good shape for being in the in the boneyard. Perfect. Here's the operator station. Also in pretty good shape. It's missing a couple things. That's where your blade lift would have been. Here's all your gauges. Let's we'll just see if they turn on. Perfect. I wonder how many hours are on this thing. Let's see if we can figure this out. Engine speed, blah, blah, blah. See if it'll tell us. Hmm. Let's try it again. Nope, won't tell you. So uh, a little bit of backstory about how I got this machine. I uh, had a customer call me. This was one of their old backup dozers. And what my customers do is they basically have an hour number to where if the machine has a certain amount of frame hours, they will run it up to a certain hour amount. And when it surpasses that hour amount, if it breaks down or it has an issue, it gets parked and they just go ahead and buy another dozer. And that may sound kind of weird to a lot of people, but the customers we deal with, uh, they are all about production. They, um, they can't have tractors down, they can't be fixing certain problems, and they always have a book to where, okay, this dozer costed us this much this year to fix versus just buying a new one. So what they did is it had, I believe it's got a transmission problem or um, obviously it's got some coolant leaks, it's got some oil leaks, it may have just been a, uh, conglomeration of a lot of different things wrong with this machine to where they said okay it's getting parked we're gonna go ahead we're gonna buy a new dozer so um, for me it's great is it's gonna be a great machine to part out we have a lot of really good components on this machine we've got great final drives we've got awesome track frames a good core engine a uh, good core transmission, a nice ripper with all the cylinders, just a lot of really good components that we're gonna be able to use and uh, recycle instead of all this stuff just going straight to a scrap yard and getting cut up. So I'm very uh, excited to have this machine in our yard. And what I'll do is I will make sure that we do a, uh, probably a four part series on this thing. We'll get it fired up, maybe we'll fix a couple things on it, uh, maybe run some stuff over, and then we'll take it into the shop. We'll get uh, some, we'll start tearing it down. We'll start with the cab and then work our way to the lower level components and get this thing tore down for parts, the components rebuilt, put on the shelf and then put back into another dozer. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I post, I try and post weekly. We'll see if I can post a little bit more than that. But anyway, guys, appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.